Elizabeth Harper. I'm here with this month's crystal messages. What I'm going to do in a moment is put my hand into my big bag of crystals, take a crystal for all of us to see what the influences are for our month ahead. Then I'm going to invite you to select either message one, two or three, crystal one, two or three, to get a personal message for yourself. Also, I'd love you to see if you can intuit what the crystal is before I take it out of the bag. Maybe the color and the type of crystal. And let me know in the comments below if you got that. All right, you ready? So let's see what we have for our first crystal. See if you can intuit what the color is, maybe what the crystal is, or the shape. Could be the shape, right? All right, this is a piece of kunzite. It's a beautiful kind of, it's a lilac-y pink color. It's almost star-shaped, this particular one. Kunzite is a vibration of love, unconditional love, the connection with any kind of relationship that vibrates with that frequency of love. But I also feel with this, because it's lilac, that it's about transforming our connection with love, not just with relationships with others, but relationships to ourselves. So this month, this energy is all about love. There's a very Venusian sense to it. It's To me, it looks like it's star-shaped. So there's a, a feeling of recognizing your own star, realizing your star qualities, realizing all the wonderful things about yourself, loving yourself, loving all the little pieces, <coughs> excuse me, loving all the little pieces of everything that you can do, your hobbies, your gifts, your talents, your challenges as well, really embracing everything, loving everything about yourself. I feel that, you know, with this, there's a sense of reaching out to new partners, new relationships, new networks, new friendships globally as well. I feel that that star is, is kind of spreading itself out. It feels like a pentacle and the pentacle is, is the energy of the, of the physical world, of, the, of man, the, the two hands, two legs, the head, that is that pentacle vibration. So, I get this feeling with this, that everything that you've been, kind of things have been churning up through your heart, in your heart, your, your love for yourself, love for others, love, the desire that you want to bring into your life now. And I feel with this, it's saying it's time for you to open up and receive that energy, receive the love, receive the abundance, let's say, whatever it is you've been inviting into your life but something needs to transform in other feet in order for you to be open to receive that energy okay right so let's go to our next crystals remember intuit which crystal it has the best message for you right now one two or three and see if you can chew it the color the crystal maybe the shape as well you can move your cursor along to your crystal. Okay, number one, you ready? So let's see what you have. You can chew it. It's going to come out of the bag. Okay, this is a piece of golden calcite. It's, it's orange calcite, golden calcite. It has this beautiful, it's almost like you've come home. It's almost a sense of coming home with this stone. When I hold it, that's the feeling of it. It's an energizing stone, that calcite. I also feel like it's a cleansing stone as well, especially with this color, with sort of the yellowy, orangey color. This could be an emotional time for you. You could be 
throwing things out. And as the month is flavored by relationships, you could be moving on from particular relationships that no longer serve you. But I also feel with this stone that because of the color, there's a lot of fun that's coming into your life. Energy, everything's energized. You're moving very quickly through through any boundaries that have been kind of sticking you in a particular place. It feels like now you're freeing yourself from those boundaries. I also feel with this that when it comes to that theme of relationships, old relationships are coming up. It wouldn't surprise me to learn that you have reconnected to an old love or maybe to past life connections, relationships that all of a sudden you realize there's a past life connection in that. You know, we have lots of past life connections in relationships, but I feel that this is going to be an important month for you around that past life connection. And there's almost a sense of karma with this as well. You may find yourself, you know, with that emotional energy coming up, that there's a particular relationship that all of a sudden you realize, there's something I need to learn from this relationship. There's something I need to learn about myself and then I can move on. This is an awakening. That's the sense of it. It's an awakening month for you. Very cleansing, very cleansing time through your solar plexus, that golden energy, but also through your sacral center, the orange vibration as well. Very powerful time. Those two um, chakras relate to the era between seven and 21. That is a time that, of course, you're learning more about yourself. There's a sense with this stone coming up now that you are letting go, releasing patterns that you may have created during that time of your life between seven and 21. You may be releasing belief patterns that came into your consciousness at that time. A great clearing time for you now this month and lots of fun as well. It's not a downer at all. This is a great month filled with energy for you. Okay, number two, are you ready? Let's see what you have. Let's see if you can intuit the color, the stone, the shape. Oh, we have a, a budgie stone. Now, the Pudgy Stones, I used to have a couple of these and I would hold them and it would ground me. I'd have one in one hand and one in the other. So this is very much a grounding stone. It it feels, this one feels a little bit light, but they're often, I am pyrite within them. And there's just a sense of that grounding vibration coming back to this present moment. I feel with this that it's saying, okay, now is your time. You need to plant that seed or seeds that you've planted already, you need to nurture them. It feels like a no, don't mess around anymore. You need to get on with your work. No looking off somewhere else. This is it. It's time to be more focused, more directional. I also feel that there's something deep within you that's waiting to emerge, waiting to be expressed. And it's almost as if you need to be in one place or, or need to be, again, that more grounded vibration is coming in. Maybe take time. Maybe you need to carve out some time this month to really be with yourself, connect with yourself, connect with what you most want to manifest in your life, what you most want to create. Look into the past at what you've desired and wanted to bring in and take a look and see if you are actually creating that now. I feel like there's something missing from this. I started out saying that I used to have two of these stones and I feel like there's a second piece to this that's missing. So this month you may find yourself searching for something that is a part of you, maybe a relationship, maybe an idea, maybe something that will help your creativity emerge. And I feel that towards the end of the month, into July maybe, that there's, a, there's an opening up because there's this desire to bring something in that is a, a part of you, then you're opening up to receive that part of you that's missing. 
But the most important thing is to stay grounded so that you can be available for that part of you to really connect, reconnect. All right, number three, let's see what you have. Oh, you have a lovely piece of angelite. I have lots of pieces of angelite in here in different shapes and sizes. This one almost shaped like a wing. Angelite, of course, links you in with the angels, with the angelic realm. It's pale blue. It has these little pieces of almost gold within them. When I'm holding this, I'm feeling like writing is going to be important, journaling. There is a sense of recording what your month is like or, or you know, sometimes I write down what I most want to bring into my life and I find that that solidifies my ideas and it also solidifies the energy. It seems to anchor it in and when I anchor it in, it, it has more of a chance to manifest. And I, I feel that that's what's gonna happen with this this month, that you're going to be writing more. You're gonna be writing more about your ideas, uh, about your desires, uh, about what you want to let go of. Maybe you're burning things as you let go of them. The angels are all around you with this particular stone. There is a sense of purpose that comes in with it as well. You may find yourself a little bit more angel inspired or a little bit more inclined to connect with the angels. So this is a great month for you to meditate and call in your angelic helpers. You might call them by name, of course. I'm feeling as if, you know, when I look at this, I'm being told there's a path and, and there's almost a, an image that I'm being shown uh, of a direction that you're going to be guided to take. And it looks lonely to begin with, but then you find that other people are also inspired to go in the same direction and you meet in the middle. That's the feeling of it, that meeting in the middle. And there's a feeling of as you meet in the middle, suddenly you realize there are people on the same path as you. You're no different from all these other people. You're not alone. You have lots of friends, lots of soulmates that are waiting for you. And I feel your angels are going to guide you to meet those soulmates this month. Okay, that's it for this month's crystal messages. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, do remember that I have a free love letter with lots of tips and videos. I send out extra videos as well to my lovely community. I also have a wonderful color kit. So be sure to subscribe to my love letter and get that free color kit. You'll see a link in the description. If you enjoyed the crystal messages, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if the messages resonated for you and please share this video with your friends. I'm sure they would love to have a crystal message. I will see you next month with another crystal messages video. Crystal blessings to you. Bye.